Today's paper. This is Terry Kringle, and today's paper is The Manx Sun of Saturday, March the 21st, 1868. Price threepence. That's three old pence, a lot of money nearly 150 years ago. The Manx Sun started as the Rising Sun in 1821 and was published until 1906. And it had news on the front page on March the 21st, 1868, nearly all to do with the half-yearly meetings of the Great Laxey Mining Company and the Snaefell Mining Company, which were held in London, with Mr G. W. Dumbbell, one of the Isle of Man's most prominent Victorian figures, in the chair. The reports tell us that all is well, in financial terms, in the Manx mining industry. There's also an item headed Markets. No, not stocks and shares. It's the prices in the Douglas market for meat, fish, butter, eggs and potatoes. Inside the paper there's a mix of Manx and UK and world news and we can read a report of proceedings in the House of Lords and the doings of Queen Victoria and the court. It seems she's off to visit family members in the autumn in Germany. In page four of today's paper, that's the Manx Sun of March the 21st, 1868, there's a long and decidedly prolix leading article criticising Tinwald for the way it's dealing with the problem of building a new breakwater to provide more shelter for Douglas Harbour. There are also a number of equally prolix letters to the editor on the subject. The heart of the matter seems to be how much should be spent on the project. Nothing new there, then. There's more Manx news, including an announcement of an entertainment to be presented in the Victoria Hall in Douglas under the patronage of S. Harris Esquire High Bailiff, Samuel Harris, yet another prominent Victorian figure like Mr. Dumbbell. The item says, Mr. J.J. Harwood has pleasure in announcing that the Ramsey Amateur Minstrels have kindly consented to give an entertainment for the benefit of the widow's house. Uh, this seems to be a good cause of some sort. We have a list of seat prices, including those for something called the Governor's Balcony. In the show itself, we are promised that Mr. A. H. Curphy will sing Rocked in the Cradle of the Deep, no doubt in a thunderous rolling bass. Public notices include one from, and I quote, The Lunatic Asylum. It's inviting tradesmen to tender for the supply of bread, meat, groceries and ale. One of the things I particularly enjoy about reading old newspapers, especially those of the 19th century, is the space devoted to the sale of patent medicines of all kinds. In today's paper, The Manx Sun of March the 21st, 1868, we find the offer of Holloway's ointment for the comfort of the bedridden, for gout and rheumatism, for diphtheria, bronchitis, coughs and colds, scrofula and scurvy, dropsical swellings, piles, fistulas, internal inflammation, disorders of the kidneys, sore nipples, bad legs and chillblains. Truly a wonder drug, sold at the establishment of Professor Holloway in Oxford Street, London and respectable druggists the world over. And the cost? A modest one shilling and a penny halfpenny for a tin of this miraculous stuff. Finally, up for sale is the beautiful and romantic estate of Monte Cassino in the parishes of German and Moran, comprising 32 acres, ideal for building a mansion fronting onto the highway between Douglas and Peel, right in the middle of the island. Ideal for those who cannot bear the strong sea air. Precious of the health were the readers of today's paper, which has been the Manx Sun of Saturday, March the 21st, 1868. Today's paper.